Okay. Hello, welcome. I'm... What? Are you going to say something? I was, but that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say, hi, welcome, everyone. Uh, we're continuing uh, as John Kurt and Teddy Roosevelt. Conquer the world. Yes. Now, what I was going to say is I'm definitely ready to go live whenever you're ready, and I won't interrupt you. <laughs> now, clearly that did not go as planned, so we're off to a great start. It, 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 it's planned enough. Planned enough. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. John Curtin. Yeah. Prime Minister John Curtin has a nice ring to it, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mm. The only thing that really bothers me about John Curtin is that he has lapels on his vest. If he didn't have lapels on his vest, I'd respect him a lot more. Uh, oh, right, yeah, and we're in a lot of Cleopatra. I remember this. We also have to take right. care of... We were, we were founding religions, that's right. So, oh, so we that's right, we were going to found religions. So we don't have to worry about Montezuma. Because then we can go to defensive yeah. religion. We can just go defensive yeah. religion game, yeah. Right, I recall. Huh. Oh, fuck, Waltzing Matilda's already starting. <laughs> I uh, forgot. I forgot how upset I was at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. nice. I do have 4,000 gold right now, though. So I, I should be able to start off... <laughs> Hold the Bart. Fuck off. <laughs> I forgot about that name. Oh, it's been a week <laughs> since we... Oh, man. Can he bear another breath? I forgot how terrible my city names. <laughs> Gee, this city is long. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually upset with myself for these names. That's just incredible. Um, Yeah. Wow. It says currently waiting for... Yeah, it's waiting for me. No, it, there... Okay. Oh, I'm getting a. Why is Americaopolis getting a lot of faith? I don't. I don't know. I don't know, but you should prioritize not faith. I should prioritize just a great profit. Yeah. Oh right, I was just constantly stealing from uh, Cleopatra. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well. Uh. Yeah. Why don't you just go ahead and uh, steal gold? Um, and then what else am I doing? Uh, do I want to prioritize building a, oh, I'm building some wonders right now. So I can't actually build a, uh, holy site yet, but I probably will be able to fairly soon. So, um, I... I'll look at doing that in Sydney in about six turns. New, new, by new Sydney, York. I mean, Sid the Skid. I'm guessing the new, new, New York is going to build one. Okay. In that, uh, yeah, I was just about to say that by that mountain tile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Seems reasonable. City by the lake. Uh, we're going to do what I do best, and that's going to make commercial hubs because yep. money. Ooh, England is going to be settling near Jerusalem, probably trying to get the silver that's available there and the ivory. Excuse me, ivory. Um, I don't know if you care. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Oh, wow. You've settled a settlement in between Manchester and Seoul. Why? Because <laughs> I could. Okay. All right. Like, there's no resources there that I just can't see? Uh, I don't know. There might have been. I was just, I think I was just being a dick. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you for calling it the Great North, though, except I will note that the Great North, uh, especially the Great White North, is not uh, part of America. Mm -hmm. Just going to throw that out there. I don't know what I do. It's, it's, it's close enough. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so let's set well, there is no Canada in this game, so I guess so. <laughs> you are not Seattle. You I'm are not Seattle. You are going to be named after Where? the great prophet that has lived next to you for so long. Hilda. Agathia. Hildegard it's, Burke. Oh my god. <laughs> it's also though, I like that you actually just settled near Agafia. <laughs> I, I named it, the, like the woman who literally lives out in the wilderness to stay away from society. <laughs> Hildegard, you know what you're gonna do? Live you in Hildegard. missed an L. I'm 
just gonna throw that out there. You should edit that name to, to add. It. You know what? No, Heidegard <laughs> Heidegardberg is better. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> they, they misspelled it. They were just... <laughs> no, they they misspelled it so they could hide her. This is see. No one would suspect that she would ever live in the city where her name was spelled wrong. No one will suspect she lives here. <laughs> also, I'm about to have Forbidden City, which is nice. fantastic. And then I'm four turns away from, um, or three turns away now, pardon me, from Oxford, which is lovely. If it ain't broke, I got I engineering, had... and I got the enlightenment. Huh. Uh, let's... Oh, I can build Great Zimbabwe. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, e... Take away a mine. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm going to build a stock exchange instead. As much as the gold from each of my envoys and city-states, the 100% gold yield from commercial hubs and biz, uh, building districts is what I want more. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Mm, I also want I got colonization, but I could switch that out now. I've got a lot of settlers, so I probably don't need to with rationalism. <sighs> okay. Science. We have to, I think, choose something, probably. No, we got, we're good. We're working on machinery now. Excellent. Is there anything else? Government? Uh, can I change it? Nope, nothing right now. So that's done. Oh, I have to choose a civic. Oh, that's that's probably what's going on. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh yeah, I was going science. Right. Okay. This is this is fine. We're we're doing well science wise, so that's good. I'm actually pretty close to rocketry. <laughs> As a side note here, um, fuck, this waltzing Matilda is just getting me riled up. By the uh, way, I think we can, I think we can finish before 7.30 tonight, or rather, in your case, uh, finish before, what time is it there? Uh, 11, it would probably be. Yeah, so like 11.30. Uh, <laughs> that sounds right. You want my jade for... No, stuff. you are, it would be 10.30. You're three hours ahead of me, right? I never uh, remember. Yes, I'm three hours ahead of you. Yeah, so it would be 10.30. Why Why is my brain so dead? Right I don't now? know. My, my brain's pretty dead, too. Oh. North Lake, yeah. <clears throat> okay, oh North Lake, yeah. Make a market. <laughs> a great name for a city. Uh, really, like, y you have the most territory by, like, a long shot here. Up yours, England. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's a shitty settlement. <laughs> Can you at least buy the wine tile? To, Which, like, actually fuck with them? Well, the one next to England? Yes. The one in Plymouth, or, like, that's gonna be in Plymouth. That they're building, they're building a wonder there. Sure. They're building Patala Palace. Thank you for buying the wine to make that actually an up yours, England. <laughs> yes, I can accept this. Uh... I see. The thing is, here. Here's the thing. So you're really messing with England. Like you're really like trapping them in their area, which is awesome. I'm happy about it. We are allied with them, but that's fine. Uh, your behavior in this game kind of reminds me so far <laughs> of the uh, the taunting man from. Monty Python's The Quest for the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just very much a... Now go away before I taunt you a second time. <laughs> okay, Ooh. I need to actually just send this person to a new city because this is just getting absolutely absurd. Um, I'm going to steal from... Well, you know what? While we're... Ooh, I got a great merchant. Should I steal from Montezuma or from Victoria? Ooh, choices. I know. Who has more gold? This is an important question. Make a deal. You have 20 gold. Never mind, Montezuma. That's okay. You have 428 gold. Stealing from Victoria. Go to Plymouth. I want... I can't get him a trader. Oh, well. What is your special ability? Uh, oh. That's actually a really good special ability, so I will take that. Uh, economic policy slot in any government. I will take that. That's really nice. I, I'm actually kind of mad that you got that uh, great merchant, but that's fine. That's fine. 
Um, let's see here. I'm focusing on commercial hubs, so town charters, commercial hub, adjacency bonus? That might be not yeah. bad. That's not bad. I use that one a lot. <sighs> Evening on funny one. Oh, I should have your stream up. Probably. That's something that, like, would be a reasonable thing to do. Cleopatra's finishing a bunch of wonders. Well, I mean, she's finished... A good what? Is not a provocation oh. It is the surest yes. Answer. We'd be happy to be united as friends, Victoria. Now, uh, let me ask you this. Can we have an alliance? Absolutely. Welcome back to the alliance. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> What on earth? Why do I have a caravel? All right, well, go for an exploration. I think that's reasonable. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Are you, are um, you working I'm, any wonders right now? Uh, Oxford University is the only one I'm currently working on. I will be working on another one shortly, I'm sure. Give me one moment. I just have to quickly run out of my room. Quick. Give yes. me one moment. Have a harbor? I have a harbor, but nothing location next to it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mm hmm. Oh, we're valley. Sorry about that. Just had to make sure I was getting some documents sorted as well. So okay. Oh. And besides, I finished my turn long ago because I don't do basically anything. So what wonder are you looking at building? I was looking at all of them, and I'm I'm decided to wait to do any right now. Uh, okay. Because if you have the space, you should do Great Zimbabwe. I. It's. Ex I did not have the space for it right now, at least in my capital, where it's best to construct it. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is best to construct it in the capital, but it's also like not the worst thing in the world to do it elsewhere. And then you just reroute all of your trade routes to that city. Um, True. Like, uh, you you could technically do it in Up Yours England, potentially. Um, right? Because you need, it needs to be beside a commercial hub as well as cattle. I believe that's the only requirement for it. Um, Hi, Logan. You must be by the commercial hub that has a market in it and must be adjacent to that and cattle. Hey, Logan. Um, I cannot purchase yeah. an aqueduct, but I will purchase a barracks for, sh for shits and googles. Shits and googles. Uh, Why do you have two more settlers? Why do you need to settle more? I have like three more settlers, technically. Oh my goodness. Do you? I only see two, but I also just haven't... Oh, no, you do have three. Well, there you go. <laughs> At some point, I will I will ask you for more cities. Because <laughs> I am completely trapped in where I am, and I just really need cities <laughs> at some point here. But uh, the nice thing about what you're doing is that you're also kind of making it a lot harder for religion to spread to your cities, because you're just building so many. Oh, our alliance has gone up between Gandhi and Montezuma as well, so I'm going to just re-up those. Uh, yeah. Gandhi has a request for friendship. Yep. Uh, uh yes, let's see. And same with friends. Montezuma. And then also, I'm going to... Siege tactics. Yes, yes, yes. Military tactics, thank you. Gandhi, hey, how about an alliance, buddy? Thank you. Alright, now, Montezuma. Please have an alliance. Thank you. All right, now Cleopatra, go screw yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, gain sources, would you, my good man? Uh, oh boy. Um, gee, this city is long. Really needs to do something here. Um, Ooh, new, new, New York almost has that holy site. Nice. Um, oh, settler. Uh, that's right. I'm gonna move to where I wanna park this guy. Uh, it's I not a bad really spot. Oh, bananas. there's someone there. Well, I want to build. 
Actually, you know what? You know what? <sighs> We're gonna go. What are you considering building? In between Calcutta and Rakadet. I was considering <laughs> placing a city. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, I was originally gonna go to the like this area, like my one settler on the sea is next to, but yep. it's um got a whole bunch of uh Cleo like the Egyptians over there kind of blocking the way. So uh, whatever. Yeah. Oh hey. Trumped Egypt. Where did where did you come from? Where did who come from? This little warrior that's been sitting here now. Uh you know what? Which warrior? From who? The one that's now in Americaopolis. I guess you can oh, fortify. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know where he came from, but hmm. he showed up. Good no for him. idea. So what have you missed, Logan? Well, you missed last week's stream, which uh, will have led up to pretty much where we are now. Uh, what has happened so far is uh, we've given our cities terrible, terrible names. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Matt is basically taking over the world one step at a time here, uh, just by building cities. And I am creating a scientific wonder of a society. And um, yeah, essentially ruling the world with gold. Because I like gold. Um, anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much all that's happened. So that's like you're you're caught up for the most part. Um, yeah. Will uh, should I upgrade my warrior to a musket man? I don't really see the point right now. He costs me less money right now. You didn't get a notification. I was not streaming last week. So unless you are also following Matt, which you should be if you're not. Um, and I'm still not streaming. Because I'm not streaming right now. Um, then Jason Voorhees comes in and murders all your cities. No, hopefully not. Um, that's why I have the warrior there. Great north. Uh, uh, you can make a settler. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's probably somewhere I can build a city still. I'm not sure where. But I'm sure there's some place. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Is there any way that I could ask you for a couple of cities? Maybe. At some point. Like, when you settle a few more. Yeah. There's a couple nice places I was looking to settle. There's this, yeah, island, like, there's this island down here with a barbarian camp to our, to our south. It's got gunpowder on it. Yeah. I mean, I just want to avoid, like, flanarchy. Like, I just need places to build, like, science. <laughs> Basically. That's pretty much where I'm at. Because right now, I... And I'm about to build an archaeologist, which is great. Like, you know, I'm getting that built. But, uh, oh, I'm going to build the Eiffel Tower as well. So, um, uh, you just so that. you know. Uh, yeah, please repeat your route to America, Opolis. Which, by the way, is a hard name to say. <laughs> Buy another trader, America, Opolis. We need more traders. Uh, commercial hub, I didn't... I haven't built one here? Oh, that's a nice place to put a commercial hub on this like frozen wasteland where I get two gold extra for it. I'll Beautiful. Take that. I'm gonna make a route to Seoul. All right. Um, what are we doing for profit? Egypt's getting two per turn. America's getting three per turn. Uh, oh, I'm not getting nearly enough of that. Just the Crystal Lake area. I like that. That thank you for that unfunny one. That's that's a good addition to that that line of reasoning. <laughs> I don't have Crystal Lake though. That would be Matt. He's yeah. uh, got North Lakeia, City by the Lake, and Lakeston. So he's really the one who needs to be concerned about uh, Jason Voorhees. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, Jason Voorhees can go fight England. Yeah. Because up yours. Because uh, look. Why? Can't I auto explore? Too close to tribal village. That's just not true. Oh yeah, I had that a couple of times too. I'm like, what? What? There isn't one though. I don't. Um, there must be one in that mountain range that we just can't see. That we can't really get to either. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Victoria wants to set up an embassy in my capital. Absolutely. Yeah. Glad to have you, Victoria. And then, hey, Victoria. Could, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't set up an embassy in her capital. I guess I already have, maybe? Hmm. Nope, never mind. I'm, I'm good. 
claim great person. I will, thank you. Oh, it's a great admiral. Um, Shoot. This. Uh, what do I want technology-wise sure. now that I have it? Um, let's see here. How about that, and then that, and then we'll do that one, that one, that one, um, we'll go right to there, and we'll go to that one, and that one, and then we'll have a lot of technology. Yay! Let's just purchase that guy. Um, yeah. All right. You've been playing a lot of uh, HOI 4, which I'd never remember what it is. I'm sorry. And have expanded Soviet basically across all your Asia minus. Well, that sounds like what you would normally do with the Soviet. India completed rich on gunpowder. Aztecs have repeated mass production. Do I have mass production? Oh, ally. England hates Aztecs. Well, you know what? I'm allied with both of them. Whatever. Yep. Um, I'm kind of mad. My spy had a 90% chance to succeed at stealing money um, from England. And uh, they failed. But were undetected, thankfully. But, like, because that would have pissed off Victoria pretty badly. <sighs> Gonna try again. I want that Gonna sheep. So let's get rid of this jungle and then make that. It's one less, but that's fine by me. Yeah. All right, let's put one there. Uh, I get two suzerain points. Um, let's do a third there. Well, that's not going to help too much, but it'll help a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, Protestantism is fighting against it still. Um, as long as they're still Protestants, I'm, we're good to go there. <clears throat> oh shoot, Plymouth is converted. Hmm. Working towards that religion. Um. Oh. Okay. Um, let's have you make a bank. Okay. Um, so I'm like <coughs> quite a ways off still from having rocketry completed. So we do actually need to start being quite concerned about the religious victory potential here because Montezuma is actually very close to that. I noticed. Um, he just hasn't converted England. And England um, is doing a decent job of battling. They only have lost yeah, but one not city. like not great. Yeah, look, I look know. at the uh, apostles going in there. Like we we might need to consider. Well, I mean, I'm getting more. Oh yeah, consider going to like war with. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna start trading with England or Protestant cities more to attempt to, uh, well, yeah, to attempt to uh, get more uh, Protestantism rather than Eastern Orthodoxy. Um, yes, best name you know ever, what? Indiaopolis. <laughs> yep, there you go. Uh, so... Egypt, India, and you are ahead of me in recruiting a great prophet, so I'm just going to purchase one. Do you need money to purchase one as well? Uh, how, how much, much would it cost you right now? If I was to purchase a great prophet, I could actually purchase a great prophet with money. Why don't you do it right now, and then I'll purchase mine next. Okay. Oh, never mind. You're the last one, apparently. So one of us is doing it, and now it's you. So someone has a great prophet that they just haven't done anything with i guess i guess so oh yeah whoever had stonehenge probably who built stonehenge i don't know off the top of my head huh i wonder if it was egypt and they just haven't done anything with it 
I'm currently like scanning through territories, which is like honestly just such a waste of time, but that's fine. I might be India. I don't <sighs> see it though. And India doesn't have a lot of territory, so like I don't I don't know. Okay, well. Oh, no. Look. You know what? That's okay. I'm just gonna delete this galley rather than try to <laughs> deal with any of those shenanigans. Because it just keeps telling me that there's, you know, too near to a tribal village. You're buying a great profit. Yes, we bought a great profit because we need to stop the spread of uh, Eastern Orthodoxy in particular, which you will have to do next turn. But <gasps> an enemy spy succeeded in stealing from me. I'm actually mad. I'm actually quite mad. Oh. So, I'm amazed that your cities have a majority Eastern Orthodoxy, given how many cities you have. A clear pastor denounced me. That makes sense. No. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm weak. Oh, that's right. I have like no military. Good point. Yeah. Same. I can't help but think that maybe it was Montezuma who stole from me. It's possible that it was Victoria, though. In which case, like, honestly, that's fine. I'm just going to keep stealing from her. Um, let's go to... Um, art Museum sounds good. No. Let's go to Manchester? Why does she have no money to, for me to steal? And yet... Ugh. Okay, this is not worth my time. Maybe you. Yeah, let's go. Let's go there. Up here's England. Let's uh, build a commercial hub. Uh, the desert would be nice. It's like you're buying out the Pope. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> We're purchasing the Pope's loyalty. Uh, found a religion. All Good. right. Um. Uh. Now here's the question. When you found it completely, will it remove Eastern Orthodoxy from whatever city you built it in? Which Probably. was New 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 York, right? I hope it does. Otherwise you're in trouble. I'm founding the religion of Americanism. Of course. <laughs> Uh, let's... Of course it's on the cow. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Sure, we'll do this one. And we'll do... Uh... Cool, Americanism. Did you do stewardship by any chance? I don't think I did. Uh, I like how you did choral music. Oh, you did Meeting House. That's perfectly reasonable. Mm -hmm. Hey, it changed New 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 York to that. How much faith do you have? Uh, 834. So you can start buying. Yeah. Yeah. I would recommend Apostles. But <clears throat> I see that you just bought a missionary, so... <laughs> Um, I think you can buy two units, by the way, because I think you, one shows up on the city center and one shows up on the... Uh... I will test that out. Go get this tobacco. Um, I can. I will get an apostle, too. Nice. Well, I was going to use the one to spread the religion the rest of my civilization and a couple, I guess, to guard the place. Yeah. Well, apostles are a good way to do that. Gurus do something, too, that I haven't I haven't read. It's probably better that you're doing this and not me. Nationalism. 
and not the other way around. Mm hmm. Two turns until I have the Eiffel Tower, which is exciting. No, I don't have any policies. Um, oh, I don't have the Enlightenment yet. Oh, that's like pretty embarrassing. Um, <laughs> democracy. Let's go for democracy. Um, let's go for library. Science is good. Uh, mm -hmm. let us do a trade route from here to, um, I have it connected. Oh, uh, it has a Torah one, so. You, you should, um, spread your religion first to Americaopolis and Great Cliffs of Dover in America. Um, cause then it will naturally start to spread to me as well, which would be good. Okay. Uh, let's move you over to Americaopolis. Spread some religion. We might just have to murder Montezuma when our treaty comes up. So, like, he has musketmen right now. That's the level he's at. I think we can get to infantry before he, uh... Before we need to murder him. But he's also setting up in what looks like a situation where he might be going to war. Okay. Uh, I would assume with Britain, but can't be sure. He might be attacking one of the city-states. Huh. Uh, I'm not gonna do this stuff, man. <sighs> Whatever, okay, those are stupid. Anyway, all right. Uh, oh, I can purchase more religious units now that I have built a couple. Let's purchase, uh, I guess, another missionary for now. I hate having to go with the religious game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to pay attention to it, which is kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. Civil engineering, nice. Mm hmm And combustion, I'm at oil wells. I don't think I have oil yet. Anyway. But whatever. Oh. I'm gonna get him anyway. I'm gonna get that one anyway. I don't care about Trump as much. Uh, Trumped Egypt. You can build a water mill. That seems like a good idea. Hmm. Oh, jeez. That was a surprising buzz on my end. <laughs> uh, what am I having you do? I guess quarry would be good. Alright, um, that's a good idea. Um, hmm, okay, um, That's a good one. Montastic and insulation. Your religious pressure never drops due to losses in theological combat. Alright, that's probably good. Because I have to worry about that. Mm hmm. Let's get an apostle. And I can't get a missionary right now. Because I got one. Spread to Americaopolis. Spread to Americopolis, which gets rid of it from being under their thumb. Which now I am still considered Ethan Orthodoxy, though, because of. Uh, yeah. Bastards. Yeah. It happens, though. Yeah. Um, I just spent so much money. <laughs> that, the buying the profit was a lot of money. Yeah. 
Well, no, I just, like, I just built a bunch of stuff in all of my cities just to, like, expedite things a little bit. Mm-hmm. Cleopatra's yeah. proposed a deal. All right, Cleopatra, you hate me, but maybe it's a nice deal. Hey, I built the Eiffel Tower. I did not mean for this builder to move there. That would actually be not what I wanted. Um... Uh... Evangelize belief again. Because I like doing that. Uh, you know what? Um, university. Alright. Hmm. What am I going to build? Hmm. What am I close to here that I need? Uh... Hmm. Don't really need that. Could maybe use. No. I don't know. I don't know what to build here. Um. I think I'm gonna build maybe a harbor to try and bolster my income a little bit. In can he bear another pun? Yeah. I like that. All right. What are you building? Um, I was evangelizing my beliefs a little bit. Ooh. Oh, click back one. Deal. Um, I'm not gonna give you that for only one gold a turn. Like five. She does. She really doesn't have a lot of money. I was stealing it for a long time. Well, I mean, she's poor then, and I just like her. Are you telling me that you dislike poor people? Uh, probably. She seems like a very bad poor person. <laughs> Alright. Well, you heard it here first, everybody. Matt hates, whor hates poor people. I just said Matt hates <laughs> poor people. My god. Uh, that's just slander. <laughs> you can build a traitor... All right. Just so you know, you are making more money per turn. Ah, my two seventy nine. Mm hmm. I'm at one seventy four. Improvement makes straight, improvement makes straight roads. Ah. Uh, improvement. Build farms on grassland, hills, genius. and plains. Okay, cool. I, can I now am at 205, which is much better. But, still. Uh, you can make, I guess, a shipyard, sure. That's not a bad thing to make. Um, oh. Sign silent. Um, you probably should make one of these, which, that seems like a fine place to build it. Um, you should make probably one of these. Ooh, that's a nice spot to make it. Goodbye, rainforest. Oh, um, shoot. I lost the policy slot. What did I lose? Uh, either builders or settlers. Cheaper. <sighs> what do I want next? Campus adjacency bonus? I don't have that many campuses. Um, housing with Wait, special... Wait, you don't have any campuses? I got one. No, no, not uh, campuses. Oh, that's right. I'm building campuses now. Okay. <laughs> uh, plus four go with plus one faith from all trade routes. You know, actually, that's a pretty good one. It is. Because I've got 13 trade should routes. Have, yeah, I was going to say, you should have quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Eastern Orthodoxy is spreading very much in my area. I would very much appreciate it if you uh, got rid of it. I'll see what I can do. It all rests on you now, Matt. 
I know. Because keep in mind, well, I mean, it largely rests on England, to be perfectly honest. But, <laughs> you know, apart from that. I mean, in terms of score, we're crushing them, which is nice. Uh... Um... Oh, that's actually a good one. Like, your Empire score is 252. That's higher than, like... Well, it's higher than Gandhi entire score, and it's really close to passing all three of the other people's score just from your Empire score right now, which is hilarious. And then technology being 90 for me, 80 for you is pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot with that. Everyone else is pretty far behind. Um, Wonders, I'm at 25 for score. You're at 10 for score. Everyone else is around 10 or 25 as well. That's not that bad. Things are going well for us right now, score-wise. By the way, I'm fairly certain... I'm fairly certain it's Cleopatra who has the... Uh, Great person, the great prophet that they're just not doing anything with. Thanks, Montezuma. Every time. Every time you take it. You want some tobacco, too? You'll take tobacco. He's I'll take so that. amenity hungry. You want some ivory? I'll give you some ivory also. Mm, sure. I like your stuff. Uh, Victoria. You want uh, some jade? No, you, you want me to pay you to give you jade. Okay, so you're, you're net. Um, well, I mean, do you want anything else? You want some, uh, you want some, you want this wine that I got from Victoria? Yes, you do. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I'm kind of a jerk. Hmm. <clears throat> this, this fine wine I got from over near Victoria. Mmm! It's, uh, known as the vintage... A pure is England. <laughs> Lovely. It's from the year uh, 1820 AD, you'll find. And I think you'll find it tastes quite exquisite. Gandhi has proposed a deal. Nope. I'm sorry, Gandhi. Um, ooh, you want to give me a relic for three of my luxuries for 30 turns? I mean, that's nice. Sure. I'll take the relic of the Book of Thoth. Book of Thoth? That. Yeah. Toth. It's Toth. Whatever. I'll take it Just for, for that stuff. Just throwing it out there. That, 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 that's fine by me. I'm going to look at money. Mm-hmm. You're not going to look a gift Toth in the mouth? No, not at all. Uh, oh. Uh, Hildegard Bird. Waltzing Matilda. Sorry. It's <laughs> stuck in my head for some reason. I wonder why. Yeah, it's not like it's been playing on repeat for the last 27,000 hours. Actually, you know what? How many years, uh, how many hours is 18, 24 years in hours? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 1.5978E plus 7. <laughs> how about in days? Yeah, that's much more manageable. He's been playing <laughs> on repeat for the last uh, 665,760 days. That's uh, quite a bit of time there. You've been uh, enjoying it. Waltzing to yes. Matilda? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think he's playing a different song. It is. It listened to me. It knows I want to blow my brains out. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm really, really overwhelmed, Tilda. That's really what it comes down to. <clears throat> so, Gandhi has ironclads? Is that something we already knew? Yeah, I remember he had like an ironclad long, long ago. It's like he didn't have the oh, technology he for it. The computer yeah. gave it to him. Yeah, cheaters. I got combustion. Yay. Yeah. Two turns to flight. Um, uh, market. I mean, okay, I'm going to get rid of the bananas to get plus eight gold per turn. Like, yeah.
Hmm. Um. You want the you want to wait? You're gonna give me money and a holy lance for the book of Thoth and elephants. Didn't he just? Didn't he just? No, this is Montezuma. Oh, okay. He wants yeah, to yeah, give yeah. me a holy lance. Sure. It's a weird trade. But mm -hmm. All right. Faith and tourism on that one. I'll take the faith. I can purchase some things with it. Uh, Victoria, well, Victoria had a deal for the same thing. <laughs> Victoria also wanted it. Well, yeah, that does happen. Okay, Northlandia. You can't build anything else in a commercial hub. Let's build you a... Uh, canvas. Um, put one there. One there. I like that. Give me science, Charles Darwin, since you're next to this great wonder, which was literally right next to me. Yes, Americaopolis is now Americanism. We're going to found a city over here. You are not Baltimore City. You are... Um, the great... Desert. So, um, I have something for you. I'm gonna trade with you. Give me, give me a moment here. Uh, oh, you can only take that. That's fine. Here. Sent you a deal. It says cancel deal or resume. Resume. Oh, now I can accept it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you for the Book of Thoth. How did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden it's like, wait, when did you get that? Uh, I the magic. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of still, like, just, you know, sitting income. So <laughs> I just, uh, you know, disposed of some of my disposable income. That's all. I bought two of his uh, wonders, or his uh, relics, pardon me. And I kept one for myself and gave one to you. Cool. Yeah. A spy from the Indian Empire was killed while trying to siphon funds from me. That bastards. Mm-hmm. How could he? Someone built the Polta Palace. Patala. But yes. Hey, I all hey, in England, you got flight? I also got flight. You know what's hilarious? So Montezuma sold me his beard of the evangelist last turn, uh, in conjunction with the Book of Thoth for a total of nine hundred gold for two, which I felt like was a fine deal. Now he's offering me ten gold for thirty turns, six gold and horses for my jade, my ivory, and the beard of the evangelist. Like no, absolutely not happening. Like come on. That's just not... It's not happening. Victoria I'm, I'm, I'm also making the Coliseum it. now. <sighs> That's fair. Um, I, you know, so I wanted to let you know. Because you know, like, let you know and stuff. So. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, uh, I want a commercial hub here. Where do I want to build it? Right there. <clears throat> okay. I'm keeping my beard of the evangelist. For no reason other than that I like the fact that it's a beard. Uh, okay. Ooh, we can make... I've opened up some trade routes with England, it looks like. Okay, let's uh, nice. send something to Liverpool. Uh, you, what are you going to do? You're going to go over here and make some farmland. You're going to go over here and get these sheep. But wait, we're not done yet. We're going back to Americaopolis because... But every, wait, there's every, more. Every trader I've bought has started in Americaopolis because reasons. Yeah. Well, yeah. Coliseum uh, okay. looks very ancient. I like it. It'll be very nice. It's only going to be done in a couple of turns, so. Mm -hmm. And I can build a holy site in Americaopolis when it grows to 22. So, very I mean, nice. And also, the Coliseum I'm... will probably provide a lot of. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Montezuma's declared some war. Okay, I've now given you another thing, potentially, uh, once it lets me. Sorry. My apostle was attacked by the Aztec Empire. Yeah, they do that. Okay, I have a thing Bastards. for you. I think it's not letting me do this. 
I don't know. Do you see a deal for me? Uh, no. Okay, it's not letting me. I think you just don't have the space for it. That's fine. Possible. Um, Possible. Um. What am I purchase? I could purchase that for a bunch of money and get it out of the way. Uh, yeah, I mean not military academy. I'll just purchase it. There you go. Because heck, why not? Wow, the game is waiting on me. That never happened. <laughs> oh dear. Purchase a unit. Uh, let's get. What's Guru do? Oh, you're a very good defensive theological unit. Guru is. There you go. So maybe. It can defend. It can defend in religious combat. But it can't attack. It can heal itself in other friendly adjacent religious units. But it can't attack. So that's important to note. Like, you won't be able to use it as. You have to use it in conjunction with Apostles. Yeah. Which is good. It's fine. I wish I could just give you faith. Yeah. At some point here. Because, like, I have, like, a thousand that I'm just never going to use. Oh, wait. He won that. Uh, Montezuma declared war on Hattusa? What I get a great match. England is largely defending Protestantism, but like they're having a little bit of trouble up near Bristol and Liverpool. Might want to consider sending a unit over there when you have the opportunity. But I feel like you're gonna have to clear the people out of your area first. To be perfectly honest. Also, don't waste your uh, faith on missionaries. They're not that good. Yeah. Like, it, given how many apostles he's sending into your territory now, you kind of need to just build apostles. But I think next time Montez like next time our alliance comes up, which I don't know how to view how long that's been. Um, like, I'm sure there's a log. Hold on. Uh, reports. It wouldn't be in this, I don't think. Um, maybe? I, no, it's not. It's not in here. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, like, I, I imagine there's a way to see how long your alliances are meant to meant to last but i don't think they i don't know i don't know that they are available in any way shape or form the uh, just keep stealing the money from them it's a good start at least um among the we are getting wrecked in religion i know i am i'm pretty much just a distraction for him and i know that at this point in time yeah the thing is like he's almost converted england as well because England doesn't have anywhere fully converted anymore. How long is our alliance up? I don't know. It's a problem. Because we can't attack him before then. And he's got units. Like, it's it's a real a real issue. We might just lose this one to him. Which sucks. Because, like, we're kind of dominating apart from that. Oh, God. Um... can't get an apostle right now. I don't have enough faith until next turn. That's not good, but it's that's just kind of the way it's going to have to go, I guess. Which sucks. Um, yeah. Where am I sending this guy? I guess up here. You know what? I'll get a little bit more faith. Let's go send some envoys to those guys over there. It's just a little bit more. Are you, um... Units that belongs to a player you're not at war with. God damn it, I can't kick him out. Yeah, no, you're... Yeah, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um... You, uh... 
How many holy sites have you built? Is it just the one? It's just the one. I haven't had the ability yeah. to really build a lot more of effectively. Because it's just like, yeah. I'm starting the game really late for holy sites and stuff. Right. True. Religious victories or Civ 6's diplomatic victories? Ah, uh, no. Yes, no, kind of. I mean, like, there it goes, right there. Um, that sucks. Basically. Ah, he got it. Bastard. Yeah. yeah, um, so religious victories are unfor- So we have to do Emperor, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> Which fine. Which is fine. Um, yeah, so, uh, religious victories, they're not really diplomatic victories, um, in the same sense, because they don't, um, require you to actually do any form of diplomacy. I know that's kind of just being pedantic, but like ultimately what it what it comes down to is just that uh Oh, Mary Tudor the first. That's actually not bad. That could have been worse. <laughs> I was expecting to get like Dan Quayle level. Um <laughs> anyways. Uh oh you mean they're the cheapest way to win. By cheapest do you mean like least economically? impact impactful or do you mean like they are like just kind of the dirty trick because like i would argue that yeah they can be kind of a dirty trick but like realistically we should have been paying attention to this game i think what early. it should have been is like i should have gotten at least one religious site in one of my cities and been like using that to at least convert my place and set up a defensive religion you know maybe yeah maybe like some kind of defensive religious site like <laughs> Getting a couple in and getting a religion early, maybe. I don't know. At least getting in the religion game, if they're not concentrating on winning it, at least getting enough to overcome right. your enemies. Right. And I think that's that's ultimately what it comes down to, is that we, we just didn't pay attention to the religious game early enough. It's not necessarily a cheap way to win, but it is kind of just a way that's a little sneakier. The most dirty victory. Yeah, um in Civ 5 when you get close to science victory, dominate the score. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, kind of. Um, but uh, they did some balancing with the religious victory in Civ 6 uh, since its release, which um, <coughs> has actually helped out a lot in terms of making it um, yeah, instead of making it cheap or dirty. I think it, it's it's completely, completely fine. Uh, every other player votes for players still in ancient era to <laughs> to be a world leader and they win. Yeah, well, I mean, like, because sometimes people are trolls. That's the internet for you. Like, yes. that's, but, like, I mean, that doesn't happen really with AI in Civ Five either, so it's not necessarily, like, a cheap way to win. It's just that people view it as a way to troll the person who's winning. Like... Mm -hmm. And, and, I mean, religious victory, they, there is no way to troll someone with it. It is very much just a, a an opportunity to, like, it, do a different avenue. And I do think that they've balanced it well enough. We just didn't pay enough attention. Yeah. 